So the first thing you're going to want to do is go file, make a copy, and make a copy of this template. Okay. And once it opens, you have full editing rights now. It is yours. And so what you'd want to do is to look here where it says person one, person two, person three, person four, person five, person six. Um, so what you want to do is if you have groups of people, you would want to pre-set up you would send them to. So say I'm going to, uh, I tweet often to Jay Carippo, Will Kimbley, um, Barton Keeler, uh, Jen Roberts one. Notice I'm not putting the at symbol because I actually have it where it automatically puts that in there. And then let's say we're getting together because we've got some special group. So we're going to do I don't know, Fresno special group is the hashtag. And so now that I've got that in there, notice if it says click here to tweet, when I click on that, it's going to generate a tweet at those people and at the hashtag. So you'll notice that it has got uh, the pound symbol even though I didn't type it. And it has the at symbol even though I didn't type it. Those are preset in there. So you don't have to type them. You don't have to type them, but um, but they're just going to show up automatically. Okay, so what's really nice about a spreadsheet is you can actually copy and paste by just, if I highlight those cells, and then you look in the bottom corner, zoom in here, and you highlight across, still zooming. I feel like in the bottom right-hand corner, I can actually pull this down. I could pull it all the way down the page if I wanted to. What that does for me is it's going to copy all, everybody in the group and the hashtag like a bunch of times. So it's just pre-set up for me. So let's say we're going to be having some sort of event. And I know that to these uh, people, I'm going to be tweeting to them frequently. Uh, message for day one. Remember to bring the milk. Day two message. I hope you are working on your presentations. Make them in Google. So I can put in whatever messages I want over here in column C, D, E, and F, and then I already have pre-set up who it's going to go to. And so then all I have to do is click. And see, now notice that it's not showing up the little hyperlink down there, so you might have to refresh. Sometimes that happens. So once I've refreshed, then the, the hyperlink shows up. And you notice it's going to generate the tweet where it says what I said in the stuff boxes. And it also has on there who I was tweeting to and has my hashtag. Now you got to be careful because it says negative nine. I have too many. Uh, characters, so I would have to go through and edit this before I hit tweet, otherwise it won't let me. Um, so that is something you need to be careful about, is paying attention to how many characters you have, but it just makes this preset up. And of course I can just go in and delete what I wrote previously, and type a new message, and then tweet that out. And it will say the new message instead of the old message. So it just makes a handy way to keep tweeting uh, to the same group of people.